Meteorologist Joe Hansel here with a look at your severe weather threats and thanks a lot for tuning in. Fortunately, we're getting a breather for most of the nation weather-wise for your St. Patrick's Day. A lot of nice things going on above freezing Minneapolis, 38 degrees. Houston, enjoy those parades and party safe. You're at 65. Los Angeles, Phoenix, cracking into the 80s. New York City at 44 today, but obviously we're still seeing green on the map and not for a good St. Patrick's Day re reason. You know, we had all that heavy snow for a lot of areas. Uh, for Mar or for February, the first half of March, some heavy rain recently. Flooding issues along the Mississippi River Valley, areas of the Upper Plains and Upper Midwest as well. So be very safe. Flooding is going to be an ongoing threat for pretty much the next couple of months. It's one of those long-term seasonal flooding events as we head into spring, unfortunately. In terms of rain, heavy rain possible in southern Florida through Tuesday evening. A couple inches is possible for cities like Miami. Snow, not a whole lot. Maybe a couple inches or so in areas just south of Chicago. So travel weather for the holiday there might be a little slippery with that wintry mix. Now, things are still open for business in terms of rain for the southern, way southern portions of the U.S. near the Gulf of Mexico. We'll keep an eye on that. All of this stuff heading right towards Florida. So we'll keep an eye late Monday into Tuesday for some potentially heavy rainfall out there. Well, there's your forecast. If you are slowly getting back to work into Monday after that St. Patrick's Day, looking mainly quiet again.